For me personally, this was a big accomplishment. Not only because I think the paintings are really great, but because I don't make abstract paintings, like I've never done it before. When Derek said, I want you to, I want the artwork to be abstract because the music is instrumental, it's not using words, it's not, it's not using things that give definition, so I want your images to be that way. I don't do that a lot as a painter. It was a great challenge that I was wanting to take, but I mean, for me, I feel like it was an amazing journey. Like, I was blessed by participating in trying to create these images. So I worked six days straight, like nine hour days, just because I only had like a week to make nine paintings. I was reading through the Lord's Prayer, I was listening to the music that Derek had made, and trying to make some great stuff. So after like five days, I had worked, you know, almost like 40 hours on these paintings. And there's a woman in our church who used to be in LA, um, and she used to run a gallery, and she was downstairs in the coffee shop, and I, I ran into her and I was like, hey, can you come upstairs and check out this art? Can I show you what I'm doing? And so she came up and we took all the paintings, we laid them all out, and she said, four of these are awesome, and five of these aren't. And we, can, we started to have this conversation, this hour and a half conversation about abstract art. Like, what does it look like? What, what are the aspects of abstract art that are important? I think I went to bed that night and just knew that the next morning, when I got to the studio, that I had to do something different. And so I came in the studio and I started, quote unquote, messing up the art. I started covering layers. I started all these intricate work that I had done, I started washing over it. And it was amazing, like seriously, like in three hours, the those five paintings that were great, all of a sudden had this cohesiveness that I never thought I could get. You know, creating is a lot about listening. It's a lot about listening to what the art wants to become. Uh, musicians often talk about this, that they don't necessarily think that they, maybe they write the music, but that actually their job is to listen to the music and help it bringing out, uh, bring it about. And visual art is the same way. And that is a wrestling match in itself. I mean, it's a wrestling match between your ego and your doubts and your time limits and your frustrations and allowing uh, to get into a patient place to receive the images, to work it out. I was looking at the art and I'm like, there's something missing. I don't know what it is, but there's something missing. And I actually, like the next day, was going on a trip to Argentina to, uh, to do some filming. Buenos Aires, and what is, it's an amazing city, and there's graffiti everywhere. And graffiti ended up being the missing piece for me. I mean, I was literally in this tr subway station, and across the rails, just this like dark blue wall, across the tracks was this one graffiti sign that was just like bright light blue and it just stood out and I and I, I started to think about graffiti and like what it is and graffiti is really like speaking to us all over the place it's there and even if you don't know what it is it's still speaking and there's these signs of people's presences and their lives and their stories coming out everywhere and I, to I totally think that God is always revealing himself to us whether we know it or not just kind of like graffiti and it's like if you're willing to listen, if you're willing to learn and step into that and interact with it, maybe you'll learn more about it. These paintings intentionally have a very kind of urban decay aspect to it. Just like as our civilization keeps growing and building upon each other, we tear things down and add new things. You know, the Lord's Prayer given to us two millennium ago is the same way, like it's, it's weaving itself throughout our religious history. And it doesn't necessarily change, but it, it comes out in new ways, in new contexts for our society. It's an invitation for you to go deeper. And I think that's how we look at artwork, and especially these paintings. They might not be obvious right away, but it's inviting you to go deeper. It's inviting you to look at the images, take it in, partner it with the music, partner it with the words, partner it with the photography. Um, and it's really true, it is like a soundtrack to prayer. It's like these are meditations for prayer. These are to enhance what the prayer is. They're to come alongside and to illuminate. Um, why Jesus gave us this prayer. Like, why is he saying, if he could sum up prayer for people to God, he gave us this statement. That's a pretty amazing invitation.